okay now what do we do once say if the baby is requiring any resuscitative care any it means not the regular baby which goes to the mother side for skin to skin contact and uh, delayed cord clamping so those which require post post resuscitation uh, those which require resuscitation then will go for post resuscitation care if the baby is healthy can be shifted to the mother side but then you have to monitor for every 15 minutes because they are at the risk of deterioration what do you monitor okay this is monitoring what do you monitor one is for apnea bradycardia blood pressure and saturation okay these are the vitals which you check as well as the urine output the most important is blood sugars they are the at risk of hypoglycemia and hypoglycemia is very dangerous for the neurodevelopment okay so hence you have to monitor for the hypoglycemia other things which you monitor the electrolytes hematocrit platelets and check for abg if required this is if required this is not regular thing but these things you have to monitor okay then um what is the saturation saturation is um, whether saturation is appropriate for the age or not okay if it is not then you go support with adequate oxygen okay uh, now in nrp where do you do not resuscitate means uh, you are going for a uh, delivery where do you do not resuscitate when where there is extreme prematurity okay and where you know uh, it is the uh, the condition is as such it will lead to early death again then again you can defer then birth weight is less than 400 and where is definitive cause of these are the definitive cause and in carefully chromosomal abnormality trisomy 13 okay so you do not resuscitate in such conditions okay but again you have to nearly always indicate it. NNR is really always indicated when there is a chance of high rate of survival. In recent cases, see, uh, even if it is 24 weeks, we go and resuscitate because in recent uh, times is advanced so much, key, we can support the baby, okay? Support the baby and help the baby out. So hence, High rate of survival, if it is there, you have to resuscitate the baby and then shift. Then acceptable morbidity. Okay. Uh, morbidity is acceptable and definitely gestation is more than 25. And with most of the congenital malformation, even uh, congenital diaphragmatic hernia or congenital cardiac diseases, TAPVC and all the cardiac surgeries are available and helps it. Uh, growth means normal regular growth so hence we we have to research state the baby even with such conditions okay so see if you are not doing or doing uh, most important factor which plays in role is you have to uh, keep in mind the parental desires okay the parental desires concerning the initiation of resuscitation should be supported whether they are whether they are willing or not, you have first you have to debrief whatever you have means whatever you have done after after the resuscitation, you debrief whatever you have done, what are the anticipated risk factors, what are the complications, and then the parents will take a call on that. Okay, so that is uh, that is one important thing. Okay, or if the survival is borderline, okay, or if the uh, means the conditions are associated with uncertain prognosis. In such conditions, the NNR is questionable, but then again, you go ahead with the parental desires. Now, when do you discontinue resuscitate? Means you have started with A, B, C, D, progressed, and then you are doing CPR. And how long do you do? When the heart rate remains undetectable for 20 minutes after birth, okay? then you consider stopping 20 minutes previously it was 10 minutes now it has been changed to 20 minutes because now because of advanced techniques we can support the baby even if the baby comes uh, means uh, has a uh, heart rate and saturation which is improving after um, less than 20 minutes then we can achieve a near normal morbidity near normal uh, life with limited morbidity so this is uh, this is the latest uh, guidelines wherein it is changed from 10 minutes to 20 minutes okay 
but again it is again whether to continue or discontinue again it should be uh, it should be based on the patient and individualized okay